Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerHistory.com and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for dropping back on by. If you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a like, drop a comment that helps the channel grow. And of course, hit the notification bell. That way you know exactly when I drop a new video. If you need to find me outside of YouTube, find me on Instagram and Twitter at MadWatcher789. And of course, you can find me on the Sneaker History Podcast and SneakerHistory.com. All right, guys. So today we're talking about something that is really, um, I guess, special to me, especially for what I'm doing right now. Because if you guys follow me on Instagram or follow Sneaker History Run Club, you'll know that I am running a half marathon that is coming up in January. But during this process, we really want to get our Sneaker History family involved because, hey, this is something we all should be getting up and being more active, whether it be riding a bike, running, or whatever it is that you do to get active. We want to know what you all are doing. And just really, we want to hope you can share with us what those, what those activities are. Through our messages, our DMs, whatever it may be, let us know what those activities are because we want to see what you guys are doing. We always talk about sneakers as a casual object, but we should know that, hey, they were meant to get up and get going and to do those things. So we really want to see what you guys are doing. I think it's just a, it's a good thing to, you know, again, get up and get active as much as possible. So with that being said, guys, today we are looking at a shoe that I'm using right now to train for the half marathon. I'm in the process of trying to find the right shoe that is going to get me through this 13 miles. And the good folks at Puma were kind enough to send me a pair of shoes for me to test out. And the shoe we're looking at today, guys, is going to be the Puma Deviate Nitro SP. Now again, shout out to Puma. Thank you so much guys for sending these over. This is one of the latest running models, guys, and this thing is pretty solid. I am very excited about it. Um, so we're gonna dive into it. I don't wanna give you guys too much fluff here. I wanna get into the shoe because I'm really excited about it. So first off, you're gonna have this very like plastic mesh upper that is very light, but at the same time, guys, it has a good structure to it. I didn't feel like I was falling off the side of the shoe. It does provide some pretty solid stability. Um, it runs kind of snug, but at the same time, I feel like going up a half a size if you were wide for the possibly, like it'd be too much. So try it on because it runs pretty true to size. So if you feel like you want to go half size up, try it on first to see if it fits what you need. Because with the running shoe, I personally feel like I want to have a snug one-to-one -one fit because I want my shoe to feel as close to my foot as possible. Now, the SP stands for Spectrum, and that's going to be the colorway of this particular sneaker. So there's different deviate, deviate SP, uh, I'm sorry, deviate nitros out there, but the SP again is kind of a special edition color they have here with this multicolor makeup. Now, still get your Puma uh, logo here going down the side of the medial. I'm sorry, on the, on the lateral side, but you had this cool little mini Puma on the medial side of the toe. Now, something that's really important to me are the laces, and you guys might think I'm crazy, but some running shoes I've run in, the laces always untied. And with these particular laces, they are nice, they are small, but they are, they are, stay tied. They're, they're not super smooth, they're like ribbony, like some of these sneakers have. These actually stay tied, and that is just an extra plus for me. Now, the tongue's gonna be a, uh, you know, one of the more flatter tongues out there, the thinner ones that typically you see in runners, but it's not one of those ones that cuts into your ankle. It is made of an open cell mesh, which of course I get closer up pictures for you guys, but the top has a fuse on it, and I wanna say if I'm, yep, it is a reflective, uh, reflective fuse on it so that way it does provide a little bit more visibility when you're running at night. Of course, please wear more reflective clothing and brighter clothing when running at night. Don't rely just on your shoes for that. But on the tongue, it also has the Puma logo and a Deviate name going down the center. Now around the eyelets, of course, we're going to have that, uh, that fuse again where the laces are going through. And again, those are reflective material as well. And we we'll go around the ankle. It's going to be a thin kind of feltish material around the ankle. It's very soft though. So again, just like the tongue, it's not going to cut into anything. At least I didn't have that issue and I did running with these in low socks uh, and I felt perfectly fine. Nothing, nothing crazy there. Now the inside, something else to really mention is that with these thin runners, a lot of times they don't have the cushion for like the ankle area, the heel area. They have it in here. The two nice little pillow areas here of foam to make sure that you're really nice and secure in the shoe. And you're gonna have an insole, but with these shoes, you wanna to try to typically make them as light as possible. So the insoles aren't really where the cushion lies. I will show you here, really thin foam insole, nothing really special or right home about there. Just says run, cool, adapt, and then the Puma logo. The real cushion is gonna come from the midsole, and that's gonna be the nitro foam, which is gonna be a nitrogen infused foam that Puma's been using. I will say it is a very springy and responsive foam, as I've only done one run, but it was five miles in it. I still think there's some time to break it in. It started breaking in more as I was going through my run, but it is a kind of stiff foam to start off with. Again, not to be confused with hard or uncomfortable, but just stiff because it just needs to be running. Most shoes, typically, you're not gonna come like super, uh, super soft right off the, 
right off the box. It's not really typical. Some shoes are like that. Not these. Again, this is a performance runner, so it is. they really pack the foam in this one. So I feel like it's really just breaking it down a little bit more, getting some more runs, and it's gonna make it perfect. But as a whole, it's not uncomfortable. My foot never hurt in the shoe. Again, it's just breaking in a new shoe. It happens. Now, to help with the responsiveness and the springiness of this particular uh, shoe, you're gonna have the Puma inner plate. Now, it's a carbon plate, which I'll put a picture up here for you guys. It is pretty similar to a lot of plates that have been used in a lot of runners now. It is something that has been very popular to put that carbon plate to really give you kind of a energy push when you toe off. So that way, I guess it really transfers the energy from one part of your foot to the other. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, it helps. I've run in a previous shoe that had the carbon plate and now going to this one. It's one of the things I feel like I can't really go back on. That having that carbon plate or maybe just a plastic plate in some other shoes, that plate does help a lot because of the helping me with my motion when it comes to running. Maybe it's just me, but that curved plate going in the shoe really does help me when it comes to making sure that I'm rolling my foot the right way. Um, and it helps me not to think about it so much. So that is very helpful, not only with, again, the responsiveness and, and the extra energy with each stride, but again, making sure I'm keeping the right motion. And again, that's personal to me. I don't know, maybe you guys have the same, um, you know, same, you, you feel the same way about it. Now on a, the heel of the shoe, you're gonna have this little silver piece that kind of pokes out. I don't think it does anything here from what I've seen. I think it's just kind of a design uh, design feature, which is cool. Again, it's just one of the shoe looks fast and it just kind of helped to look fast, almost like a, like a spoiler on a car. So that's really cool. You're gonna have Puma going down the back of the shoe as well, also in that same kind of feltless material and the Puma logo back there, the Puma branding is gonna be reflected as well. As we get down to the bottom of the shoe, we're gonna have exposed nitro foam and pieces, but majority is covered in the Puma grip rubber, which I think it's great. The traction was nice. I didn't have any moments of like slipping and sliding anywhere. And I did run in a place where there's a lot of dust and dirt. So I had no issues there. I uh, haven't run into any, any water yet, but at the same time, they feel like they're pretty rugged enough to, to sustain. So I have had a, again, I put five miles on the shoe. The five miles I put in were great. I think it's gonna still take some more time to get a full feel of the shoe, but I want to give you guys kind of my first thoughts on it. And maybe we'll revisit to see exactly how I feel and maybe 20 miles from now. Regardless, this is this is fantastic, guys. I think if you're looking for a good runner, this is this is one to really look into. That the DV8 Nitro. Again, there's multiple colors of it as well, and it's not super expensive. Typically, runners now, especially with that nice foam and that carbon plate, they're gonna be running you more than two hundred dollars. Now, there is gonna be an elite version of this sneaker that is two hundred dollars, but this one that has you know a lot of the same technology is going to be at a $160 price point. So below the two, uh, 200, still kind of pricey I know, but when it comes to running, I am okay with spending the, uh, the dollars on it because I know that it's gonna make sure my feet don't hurt, make sure I'm running the right way and really get me through the journey of the run. So I, I, can, um, I can honestly say this is really decently priced for what you're getting. Now, let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on, again, Instagram, Twitter, wherever we're posting the, the updates of the run. And let me know how you like it or if it's something you haven't tried yet. If you have, want to try it, I put the link down below for you guys to check it out on the Puma's website. And again, thank you, Puma, for sending these out my way. I really do appreciate that. And guys, just, yeah, let me know. I want to know your feelings about it. I love talking to you in the comments. And until next time, see ya.